Greetings and welcome to Space Haven. I thought I'd start on the title screen because I absolutely love this song. It is so pretty. Excellent job that the composer did with the music for this game. Such a pretty melody there. Um, anyway, so we're back in our um, our place here, and we have our people continuing to make um, additions to the spacecraft. Now, I did ask uh, the developers. I went to the um, their Discord, and they are very friendly folks. And at the moment, we can't actually do anything with an NPC ship. Uh, we did have a couple of guns in storage here. However, um, I don't know if we can actually carry them in a second weapon slot. Let's go and check on a person to just make sure of this. Let's see. Inventory. Okay, I guess we could have had it in their pocket. I don't know if it's actually worth going back over there. I'd rather just leave, to be honest, um, and go to a different star system. So let's go ahead and just do that. All right, we were going to go for some of this good stuff here. There's some more chemicals over here, which are really tempting. Um, looks like the exit to the system is up this way. So I'm wondering if we should just go here. Yeah, let's go get these raw chemicals real quick. Prepare, go. All right. We'll just go at a little bit faster speed while they prepare stuff. Okay, I was just familiarizing myself again with the speed controls here. Okay, let's go and jump. Boom, here we go. We have uh, a few of these wonderful green chips. Um, okay, let's go here. Uh, and then just go there, please. And drop. There's a derelict here for us to explore, so that should provide some extra entertainment while some of our folks are mining. All right, hey guys, how are we all doing? All right, oh wow, that's very close, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and get all of these chemicals. Uh, that's a lot. Twelve is amazing. And then we have, I think we should have two crew members asleep. Okay, so Umberto and Cameron are going to be asleep while the other guys go and mine stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the speed a little bit up because mining isn't that exciting to watch. But that's okay, at least they're getting stuff done. And I think I'm just gonna grab these two guys. Are either of these two guys um, good with weapons? Cameron, hello. Skills, weapons, yes. Okay, so I think we'll take these two guys. Umberto, weapons one. Eh, not great. Are you the only medical person? Oh no, Cameron has... Oh, <laughs> they're both medical people. How handy. Speaking of, okay, so I'm going to select them both. And I'm gonna, I am I want to go over to this ship here. Um, Actually, are they hungry yet? They seem to be okay. I think they're fine. They'll be fine. All right, let's shove them into draft mode and then shove them into the ship. Okay, let them go. Do their thing. All right, yay. Okay, so let's go and take this ship out this way. And then I'm gonna go and click the dock button. Ooh, there's two airlocks, hello. That's quite nice. Let's go accept, go into the ship. I wanna salvage a bunch of stuff if we possibly can. And hopefully some one of these guys can go and, well, if they can mine, let them mine, why not? But yeah, I was kind of disappointing not to be able to get that ship into our own coffers. The stuff, all oh, the stuff we're missing. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get these guys off. There's the proper docking procedure. And here we go. Is it ready? There we go. Okay. All right, guys. Hello, you okay? Let's go and check Umberto. Oopsies. Check here, is there anything there? Meanwhile, Cameron, oopsies. Can I select you? There we go, let's go in there. Oh, there's an alien. So shoot that alien, please. You go ahead and figure out what's in this thing. 
pick it up. Oh, there's nothing in the storage. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and select you and go there. And then you go in here because we know there's an alien in there. Umberto. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. You, you go here. Umberto. I think I'll have Cameron explore here and then I'll take Umberto to the rest of the area. All this bit. To see what's going on. Oh, there we go. Kill this, please. Shoot it. There we go. Please shoot it. There you go. Excellent job. Good, good, good. Go there, please. Okay. Please go here. Check that place out. Need to explore the whole ship. This is where that other airlock is. Looks like there's some stuff in here. Not much, though. Just some... Looks like maybe crafting tables or something. Okay, another room. And the drive room. Salvage available. Let's go and click it then. Um, okay. Let's go and check this out. We'll go with the salvage menu again. This is the CNHS Agata. And yes, we want everything. Wow, there's a lot of food on this place. That's nice. And then we need to open... Oh, oops. Salvage the facilities. Wow, we get a lot of different items from these particular uh, things. Do I need to click it again and also get... Yeah, I think I do. Okay, so it's wiser to salvage the components and then... Are the, the, the structures? Oops, up here. The structures and then click the actual individual items. All right, that's great. Okay, now then, we need to... Oopsies, I lost our ship here. And I'm going to collect, select our people, undraft them, and then undraft this guy. And that way they can start dismantling things, they can uh, start loading things into the, um, the space where the shuttle pod can pick it up. Looks like it's going over there to pick stuff up. How handy. Hopefully it, it has a decent amount of AI where it can actually do stuff. Let's see, are they, are they doing things? Okay, so you're on the ship now and going this way. How nice. <laughs> Umberto, are you okay with the oxygen? Can you come and get some, please? Jeez, I worry about these guys sometimes. Anyway, they're getting some stuff, but hopefully they'll be okay. He can walk over to one of these... Um, these portals here, they do have oxygen on them, so you'll see he'll fill up his oxygen bar soon, if he's smart about it. <laughs> Come on, guy, please. Really? What are you doing, guy? Please, dude. Okay, well, he's doing something. Okay, there's his oxygen. Good, good, good. Oh, boy, these people stress me out sometimes. Uh, but after all, this is just a demo version of the game. I'm sure uh, stuff like that will get ironed out later. But it is kind of cool the way um, things work so far. All right, so we are getting some of the chemicals. How much do we have left to salvage? Okay, there's eight left, which is great. And I think we also need to build some stuff. I want to start preparing for the whole cryo sleep thing. Um, and we also need to get the fuel that is made for the hyperspace jump to a different star system. Okay, we have our hypersleep chamber and then a medical bed. I think we need to... Yeah, we definitely need to build a medical bed in case some of our people get um, damaged. Uh, facility, kitchen, jukebox. Is there anything that we haven't built? That's kind of what I'm looking at right now. We have couches, chairs, tables... Production. Let's see. I don't know how much power we need. That's that's a good question. Okay, food. Looks like we have enough food. Items, tools. We have... Oh, ah, the item fabricator. I don't think we actually looked at that, did we? Walls, different airlocks. Pod hangers, shuttle hanger. We could actually build another pod hanger. That might be useful. And then the hull. So we could go and do like three mining trips at a time if we wanted to. We have space right here if we wanted to. Hmm. Okay. That's a possibility. But I think I will build the... Maybe the sleep chambers over here. Okay. How are we all doing? Are we still... 
Okay, we're still salvaging and doing stuff. I think I'll just go ahead and... Once they're done with the mining, maybe I will build... Let's see, how big are these? Let's see, the hyper sleep chamber. They are three by two. So we'll need quite a big room for these. Probably uh, rotate them and have them on both walls. Okay, guys. What are we all doing? Are we asking for five chips or are we just... How are we doing this, guys? Electronics. Fine. Okay, if there's less than 15. So somebody needs to go and work eventually on stuff. And this is water. Okay. Nice. We are getting a ton of materials from these different places. Glad that we still have, though, these hyperfuel blocks because I haven't found... Is there a place where we can get those crystals? This is water. I think we'll just go straight for here, though. All right. Because we're kind of needing some hyperfuel. So how is our salvage effort going? We still have stuff, I think. And the mining is going strong as well. Can I click this somehow special? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Oopsies. There we go. They're getting the last of that, which is going to be nice. Which means our, our pods will be freed up. And our crew members will be freed up. But I think I'll just let them do this. And then I will just build more of the hull here. Okay, ship. Hull. I want to build this room. Whoopsies. No, I keep forgetting to click that. Ship. Hull. Build hull. There we go. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll do this this way. We need two squares. Hallway. Another two squares at least. Maybe another hallway. And then the outside. And then this will go here. Uh, and then one more so we can have a doorway into here. But I'm going to put a wall on the back side of the sleeping arrangements. So this is going to be... I think I could stick a medical bed in there as well. Just for funsies, perhaps. All right. Otherwise, things are going pretty well. We're getting more of these chips made. That's great. The electronics uh, boards, which is awesome. Okay, and I will also add... I wonder if I should put a doorway through here. I don't think so. This is going to be like a one-off room where they can sleep. Ship walls. Let's see. I kind of like these, um, these colored walls. Okay, very nice. And we'll have a door here. Who is this door? Okay. There we are. Nice. I hope they put this piece in it soon. <laughs> I'm kind of like, ah, come on, guys, put this thing in. This is great, though. We're getting stuff done. We got. I like having um, people on opposite. Uh, shifts, it, it kind of like negates the, the whole like, oh geez, they're all sleeping, you know, that sort of thing. Well, we can definitely use some more of the stuff that's not showing up because we don't have any more. Yep, the raw materials thing. But I do, would like them to finish this stuff up first. Why is Bert over there? Are you stuck? Oh no, I think he's stuck. Oh jeez. Okay, fine. Let's dismantle the bed. <laughs> this is so silly. He got himself stuck because of wall. Oh no. Oh. All right. Fine. I should learn better. I should I should know better than that actually to 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 put the walls in before the floor behind it is completed. That's just silly now. 
Okay, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's look at this autopsy table. Okay. Dissect and butcher various creatures. Looks like we can't actually set any work orders for that, um, but that's okay. It's, we have it. It is now here and existing. And we'll go ahead and add another bed. Crew, furniture, bed. There we go. Okay, and we have insufficient resources. Yeah. What does a bed require insufficient resources? And it's funny does it doesn't show any tools because we have 420 tools. There must be a bug or something. Anyway, it is all good. But we do have the maximum amount of basic blocks uh, that we can support uh, for now. We're going to get this whole area organized. Oh, there they go eating. And we're getting some more stuff from the derelict ship. That's awesome that they're just like automatically salvaging stuff. I quite like that. It's fun to watch them carry the boxes over and stuff. <laughs> this, is, this this could use some pathfinding work. I have to, unless it's just Bert being Bert because we left him standing there for so long. He's like, you know what? I don't care. I'm carrying all of this from here to there because I'm too prideful enough to just put it over there. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Bert. Bert. Dude, you're working yourself up too much. I worry about you sometimes, Bert. You poor thing. Oh, now he's doing it. See? Now he's carrying it over here. Uh-huh. Poor thing. Poor thing has gone sort of crazy, I think. How's this going? Do we have, um, inventory? I want to watch and see how much the A is. There we go. Picking up a whole bunch of stuff there. Loading it all. Is that it for this thing? Let's see. Salvage. Yeah, there's just a few more food items. Ooh, there's a there's a the PCS Callisto. Oh. Did they follow us here? I want I wonder if it's on autopilot or something like ha ha we are going to attack you even though we are all dead it is just the computer system doing all of this mm -hmm. because we have a very ornery computer system <laughs> uh-huh yeah it, it's that kind of a day for them oh anyway it'll be okay I could make a wall a slight wall here maybe um, or here and have this be a medical bay, perhaps? I don't know. Or I could just add it on to the, the side here. That might be okay, too. Okay, we're finally finished with stuff. Let's build um, another wall here. I like having a favorite wall. That way I don't have to remember which one I use for each room. <laughs> I guess you could look by, by adjusting the wall heights here. You know, and seeing. But still, it's kind of nice to just have the default walls uh, for a bit there. Okay. So now, um, we need to figure out how we're going to adjust these beds in here. Science, um, hypersleep chamber. Let's see. We need four of them to start out with. One, two, three, and four. And I think I'll put a power node here just to cover the entire area. Yeah, that's a good spot to put it, actually. And then we'll have lights, perhaps. I don't know if I should put the lights on the inside or the outside, or I should maybe I should move the beds. I don't know. Um, because it seems like if they have to go behind the chamber, then they would have to go outside the actual ship. Which is a bit... I don't know. I think it's a bit silly, to be honest. Um, but... Let's see. Ships. Crew. We could put the medical bed in here, though. You know what? Let's just put it in here. Let's put in a couple of... Oops, I'm using the wrong keys to rotate here. Let's put in a couple of medical beds. And then I'll put a... 
light in between them like there and there and maybe a light on the wall here and there something like that so I think I think this one's gonna be out of range of the power but we can put in another power node is this actually above no Let's put it high priority please there we go oh and they're going back for more they got all the stuff going on now I could potentially put a door here as well to the bedroom but I don't know if that's actually necessary Okay, let's connect this power node. Let's link it to maybe like this one. Okay, good. All right, looking very good. At least the power node has blinky lights that can light up the room slightly. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Okay, let's turn off the power. I just want to see the walls a little bit. It's kind of nice to actually have some of the walls up. Um, so we can have see the outside walls and such. Okay, we're getting a few lights. Yay! The lights are very dark in this game, though. They really are kind of just, yeah, not great. They're kind of not great. Put this maybe there. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. This could be a good spot for the next power node. All right, and we have our well-lit medical beds. This is a good thing. All right, how are we doing with the salvage? Are we done with this almost? Come on, guys, come back home. All right, Cameron, get the stuff. Thank you. I hope that's it. Really? Oh, okay. You're fine, you're fine. All right, I think I'm just gonna turn it all off if that's not it. Salvage, nothing left. Great. Okay, life is now good. We can now prepare for travel. Okay, get the ship back. Want to make sure and not leave anybody behind because that's kind of inconvenient. All right, let's do our prepare. Prepare, nobody's going to be left behind. Hyperdrive is ready. Now we just need the navigator to plot the course. All right, Umberto's doing a great job. Jump. Let's go. We'll take it on. Oh, yes. Go here. Now we want to land here and just mine the, the heck out of this place. Just kind of looking for more resources. We need some more of that... Uh, the crystals for hyperlight fuel but we're gonna get this this is our like cool fuel ah uh, all right guys we are jumping and we have landed here wow nine of this that's good just go ahead and set that for immediate excavation there I'll let our people do their thing the ship is looking really nice i have to say it's looking really good so Looks like one of our people is mining. Bert is going ahead and doing some stuff over here. Let's just give a cursory glance over the base. Check out everything here. Oh, okay. It's a little bit cold in this room. How is the oxygen here? 206? Yeah, it's about right in here. Um, but heat. We definitely need a heater in this room, I think. Let's see. Jobs. No. Um, no, no, no. I'm clicking the wrong things. Vents? Okay. Looks like the vents seem to go back and forth. It doesn't seem to be that there's a great uh, directional thing, even though the tooltip said directions. But I hope that'll be clarified later. Looks like we are getting rid of the smoke from the kitchen. Wherever that was. Was that this? Yeah. Through the, um, the thingy. The processor of hazardous gases and stuff. So CO2, 23, 25, 19... 10. I, I think we might need a CO2 converter. Is that what, not what we have in here? Let's see. Let's change the walls again. Okay, there we go. So what are you? You are a CO2 and hazardous gas scrubber. Hmm. 
kind of wondering if it's not, well, it's idling, it says. So maybe it's at the optimal level, perhaps? I don't know. All right, let's get this linked here. And then I'll add a heater in here as well. So it's under crew, furnace, no, uh, life support. Let's see, produces oxygen, needs water to operate. We have this already, air vent, can we? I guess we could do this, just put an air vent to this room in here. And then, though I have, huh, I just had a feeling of dread, like from FTL, if you connect too many rooms or whatever, <laughs> it's like, oh my God, what if something spreads? Dangerous hazardous gases spread from room to room or something. I don't know if that's a thing, but I am now slightly worried about it. Okay, um, let's get this put in, a thermal regulator. Okay, build task queued two. Good, good. Airlock storage is full. Wow, it is full indeed. Come on, guys. You gotta transfer some stuff around, please. Uh, so we can get stuff going. This airlock storage is also full. Wow. Wondering if we should just put another storage bay over here. So let's get uh, storage. Yeah, we'll have a large storage over here, I think. And yes, if we put one over here, I'm kind of, I'm fully aware that uh, it will, okay, can't build there. We'll impede the, another mining pod, but at the moment I think we're okay. We can, we can always redesign the ship if needed. Okay, we'll put the storage thing like here and let people just gather stuff and carry stuff around. Is the mining done yet? Mining is done. Wow, they're already done. Okay, let's go and travel. Jump, prepare. Get people to do their jobs. There we go. Oh, whoops, I forgot to click the prepare button. There we go. Navigator, please plot the course. I wish they would do that at the same time. It would be nice. Okay, jump. And then we'll go to the place that has this funky fuel. Yay. How much water do we have? So we have 16 water, two ice. I think we may have to go to the ice planet as well. Drop in here. Do all the mining. All right, we're back. Ooh, there's a derelict as well. Okay, we'll go and get the mining here. And I think we might be just more selective about stuff because we have a ton of things. We have lots of food, I think. 713. Here we have 10 of those. So we do have quite a lot of food, I think. Okay, I'm going to wait till... How are th Wait, how are these guys feeling? You're just transferring stuff. Are you feeling okay? Feeling a little bit tired. Actually, they're okay. Let's go ahead and take these guys on a trip. Let's draft them, put them on board. There were, they were my team last time, I think. Okay, let's go and take the ship here. Okay, it is going, I didn't know if I clicked it or not. I didn't see the little thing from that far of a view. Let's go ahead and dock over here, except. All right, awesome. All right, go back to slow speed as we get them to move out here. Okay, Umberto, you go this way, please. Cameron, you go this way. Just like looking for aliens. Wow, there's nothing. I think I'll leave Cameron there for now. So he can dismantle that thing. Oh, whoops. Ah, there might be a slight bug there, dude. Um, go ahead and kill that thing. You know, you're shooting through a closed door. It doesn't work that well. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, let's go here. Oopsies. Oopsies. Kill that. Kill it. Kill it. Jeez. Okay, let's go this way. 
this way. I think we killed everything. Did we kill that thing? Pretty sure we did. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, we did not kill it. Oh, all right. Let's go and kill that thing. Oh, there we go. Go. Oh, oh. Meow. Meow. <laughs> All right, why don't you just shoot the thing, please? There you go. Nice job. Right. <laughs> salvage available. Okay, let's click the ship. Do the salvage thing. Uh, first, let's salvage. Open salvage. Ah, there we go. Let's just get these things, the main things, except. And then I want to get the water. I want the fuel. Energy sticks, this, I'll just take it all. Why not? It'll be fine. There we go. And then let's go back to this ship. Oopsies, there we go. And make everybody undrafted. Just make sure we click the ship again because it doesn't seem to respond to the undraft all command. All right, we'll turn the speed a bit up. Environment condition, low body temperature. Ooh, that's not good. You okay, dude? Huh. He seems to be okay. Okay. Maybe he just was like feeling chills or something. We haven't found another one of those data logs in a long time either. This is the second ship that we've uh, taken apart recently that hasn't had one of those. Uh, of course, I have no idea where to access those. Maybe. The oh, they're here. <gasps> oh, wow. We have data logs. Let's read them. The end didn't just happen with a bang, or a fanfare, or even a nuclear fireball. It just crept up on us. It began in the 21st century. Humanity made great strides in that century to do, but so much damage had already been done, and so much of it was invisible too. When the insect population collapsed, food crops and biodiversity both suffered. Without those, ecosystems all over the globe suffered. By the time we curtailed our CO2 emissions, there were too few trees to sequester the excess. The result was hotter summers and deeper freezing winters. Species went extinct by the thousand every day. And as we squabbled over the cause and solutions, we pulled ourselves apart. Old allies became bitter rivals. Nations came apart at the seams. The great edifices that supported the internet, global trade, just-in-time delivery, and all the other things that humanity humanity depended on to live, they all fell apart. Starvation, disease, and war made the 22nd century even bloodier than the 20th. Humanity was always good at adapting, though. When the sun baked the land, we invented the thermal regulator. When the crops failed, we invented grow pods. We got better at recycling, at finding new energy sources. But we were always a step behind where we needed to be. Folks used to joke about the big tech firms and their slogans. Yesterday's solution, tomorrow. It's not that we destroyed the world, but we certainly made it impossible to sustain human civilization as it was. Too many places lapsed into a feudal tyranny, or mismanaged themselves into famine, or just plain became unlivable as the climate shifted. Wow. That sounds rough. Then we have the IRS Mary Shelley. Entry 1. Log 1. A Great and Sudden Change. Independent research ship Mary Shelley. First log entry. Captain Grant Park speaking. Or should I keep calling myself Professor? Perhaps not. This is a ship, not a university after all. Though there's no reason it can't be both, I suppose. I brought a couple of colleagues with me. Anderson and Fletcher, plus a pair of doctorate students, Chase and Ray. Good people. Not just ivory tower academics, but genuine talent. And of course, Chase and Ray share a sharing a cabin saves space for other things. The Mary Shelley is basic, to say the least, but she flies, and she's well-stocked, and she has everything she needs to sustain us. We can expand her on the fly to suit any mission profile. All, we're, all we really need now is a direction. I've given that a lot of thought as we prepared for this, in all the excitement over what everyone's so grandiosely calling the apocalypse, they all got so hung up on finding a new home or a new planet that they've forgotten what space exploration is really about. To seek out new worlds and, well, you know the rest. To boldly split infinitives that no man has split before. <laughs> who knows? Maybe the answer to our problems is an older, wiser species who faced the same troubles we did and overcame them. Or perhaps they were smart enough to see them coming in the first place. 
We can't fail to learn more about the cosmos if we go looking. And who knows, perhaps we'll stumble across what all the other ships are looking for along the way. Or just maybe, we'll actually make first contact. Oh my god, the Star Trek reference. Hooray! Haha, <laughs> that was great. Okay, so, wow, that was really cool. I'm really enjoying reading these logs. That's great. Oh, the writing is, is, is nice. I can't wait to find more of those log entries as we kind of go along. Oh, our poor two crew members are so tired. They just fell into bed there. What else have we got going? Are we still... Ah, the other folks are still... I think they're salvaging stuff. How about the mining? We are still mining here. Okay, four left. Great. Oh, I'm so excited to get that hyperlight fuel, though. All right, this is waiting for resources. All right, guys, I wonder if I should also allocate logistics to be important to... Um, refining is important, but I think we might need logistics to be important. Botany construction. Hmm. I will go ahead and put this as an important thing for people who don't mine, maybe? Maybe more important for Cameron, since he... He doesn't do cons he doesn't do mining at all. Maybe I can just have him move stuff around because at the moment I don't think we can really unload stuff because these uh, pods are so full here. That's really not ideal. Oh my gosh! And these wow, they are <laughs> stacking up in the hallways. They literally are stacking stuff up in the hallways. That's not good. So I hope we can get. I think logistics is the the carrying of stuff. I'm hoping that's what that is represented by, by this label here. Navigate, diplomacy, refine, fabricate, maintenance. I think it's like carrying kind of thing. Because um, that's what logistics essentially is, is distributing resources. All right, so how is the temperature now in this room? Are we okay in here now? 17, 19, 15. That seems to be fairly reasonable. This is at 72. Why is that at 72? That's interesting. Is there... I don't know what could be there. I have no idea what's there. Like, there's no exhaust that I know of that is there. What do we got for comfort also here? We have light. I don't think we actually need any comfort in these places because they're, I think they're just going to be half asleep when they're there. Um, let's check this energy thingy. Refine. Ah, yes. Energy stick and hyperfuel. Okay, great. Wait, don't we need the other hyperfuel? Or can we actually go into the universe with this kind of hyperfuel? Hmm. Oh, hello, Araminta. Good girl. All right. How are we doing? Did we finish salvaging this stuff? No, nope, we're not even close yet. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them finish all the salvage and they're going to craft some stuff and get stuff moved along. And I will let that run in the background before the next episode uh, so that we can go and travel where no one has traveled before. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.